everybody, I'm Kim Gow from Colour Passion. Today in Colour Passion Land, I thought we would do a clock because a lot of people ask me, how do you do a clock? Okay, well, I'm very fortunate. I've, I've got the board that my, my lovely friend Lou makes and uh, he drills the holes in for me already. He also marks where the hours go, which is great. Otherwise, um, obviously, you'd, if you're doing it yourself, you'd mark it and, you know, uh, across and then each way so it'd probably work out all right and then he's also very kindly cut out the middle bit there for the clock workings but i'm going to show you step by step what we do with that um, after it's all cured so because i just recently painted my main living room um the clock that i where i want to put this um blue doesn't seem to go so well with this beige so now i'm going to change it up a little bit i'm going to go more to a teal um yeah, yeah teal turquoisey sort of color so today i'm going to use thornton shimmer it's named after jeff thornton of artist till death and they're in dallas in in texas lorraine shimmer it's a gorgeous color both of those go beautifully together lorraine is our lovely lady in canada our stockist in canada then we've got emerald passion to add a, a bit of darkness there so a bit of depth um, I thought that I might add sea foam gel um, just to give it again a bit of depth and you know me I love my sparkle and this kaleidoscope is just amazing this and the diamond stardust they're fighting in my mind between which is the best one but I love the kaleidoscope so I thought I'd pop a bit of that on as well today and also um, the passion top cell white and I'll pop that over the top and we'll do some lacing so that's what's on today so uh, okay Come along, join me, and uh, let's hope it turns out beautifully for my wall. Okay, be back in a moment. Okay, here we go. It's the next day, actually, because um, I uh, did the first part of the video, and then I got interrupted and couldn't get back to it yesterday. So here we are today. Okay, very cold here. So I've actually warmed up the resin. I've mixed it, and I have definitely made sure that I've gone around several times. What I did was, it's the Barnes epoxy glass that I'm using, but what I did was I popped it in the sink of like hot water, probably for a good 20 minutes, I suppose, and it's really nice and clear and uh, liquid, so that's great. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour into the containers and then we'll go ahead and we shall mix the colors. Trying to see what I'm doing here. Have I got one too many? I think I have. Oops, take that off because I think I have. Got it all organised and then I disorganised myself, didn't I? Yep, that's it. All right. It's been a while since I've done a clock, so this will be fun. I actually may have to, I'm just thinking, because it's going to take time to do put the uh, numbers on and everything all to fit into this video for this week. So I might have to do a, a part A and a part B of um, creating the clock so that we've got plenty of time and you guys can watch it the following week. I'm thinking that's probably a good way to go. Right. I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the Thornton. Where has that gone? That's what the other cup was for, wasn't it? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> That's all right. We'll just pop a bit of this in. Get at that one. I thought something wasn't quite right there. I thought I had it organised, but there you go. Oh, God, now I'm putting it everywhere. Talk about clumsy clock today. Being distracted, there's things going on in the background. Okay. Pop all of this around, making sure we get as much as we can of the resin out of the container. You don't want to waste it okay putting that on its side as um, i've shown you before if you're new to the channel and haven't seen it before i put the spatula on its side and then i pop it over and then the um 
the resin will run around and end up coating itself over that spatula. When I go to pull it out, of course, what's going to happen is it will all come out, hopefully in one clear piece. And then from there, um, it, it cleans out the whole tub and you can reuse it many times over. Now, I'm going to have to wipe that, seems like I dribbled it. It doesn't matter that um, there's a bit of clear on the base on the board anyway, because everything's going to be covered shortly. Just to clean this up. Sorry about that, I've made such a mess of that. Anyway, we'll be right, won't we? Actually, what I'm going to do, I think, I'll use the Sally's Sugar Soap Wipes, which I know I always promote, but they are fantastic. Sally's Sugar Soap Wipes, available from Bunnings in Australia and overseas um, in the UK. I know they're hugely expensive, but there are other products basically that do the same thing. So, um, right, just pop that there out of the resin, I think. And that there's fine, okay. Just wiping my hand so I don't get it over everything. Ooh. Okay, off we go. So, we're gonna start with some Fount and Shimmer. Actually, I really do love this Thornton Shimmer. I'm just going to put a little bit more of that because I want it more that turquoisey uh, colour. This is perfect for what I want. Now, always make sure you stir your pastes because they might have uh, been sitting for a while and you want the best possible, uh, what's the word, uh, consistency of the the product and then you can mix that mix it properly making sure that it's well and truly mixed in your resin because we don't want lumps of solid color in there because that won't look good in your art piece and you can end up being very disappointed I'll do there okay I'll just get a fresh one again I'm stirring it okay on the bottom there, maybe a smidge more. Okay, so now we're just going to be mixing that. Again, making sure it's all mixed thoroughly. I think that'll go really lovely with the Thornton. Well, I chose it. The Lorraine Shimmer. Now we're going to have sea foam, the gel. Just one squeeze of that. Wasn't even a full full squeeze actually. I think that'll be quite a nice colour for what we're wanting to achieve here. Just wanted something to be um, every now and again like a, a bit of a transparent colour because on the white, of course, it's going to show up and I think that'll be quite lovely. So happy with that one. Emerald Passion, which is an amazing colour. Again, paste, stir it. It's quite a deep colour as well, so I don't really want a lot of it. We'll be giving that a good stir. It's such a rich colour, it really is. Mm, very, very green. So I might, I might just, uh, I'm just thinking of whether I should add something to that. Um, mm, what I will do actually, I'm going to add a little bit of this diamond stardust. That's what I'm going to do because that will show through beautifully once it's all done and cured and oh that's pretty probably would still like to have a little bit more blue there you know so I'm thinking I might just grab a little bit of let me have a little maybe a bit of shimmer 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of blue passion. Not a lot, but I just, I want it, you know, not too green. I want it teal. And I think this is... And never be afraid to try this, just to add different colours to see what you get. I'm happy with that. Just that little bit of blue passion has just made it not too, not too uh, greeny. I wanted it more, as I said to you, teal, turquoisey. All right, so now we'll add the top cell white. You can see I'm not using a lot of the product here. Generally, five to 10% is all we need of the product, the paste, to go into the resin. If you're watching uh, this channel for the first time the reason why we do this is because if you add more perhaps i should do that one day so you can all see what happens but basically what will happen is it'll go really hot really quick and it will basically cook it it'll um you'll have steam coming off and uh it's not a good result you've totally wasted your resin and oh gosh it, you've totally wasted your resin and this is not not a good thing so um, it's, it, it, and it'll go really hard, really hard, very, very quickly. All right, I've got some in the container, but I'm using the Kaleidoscope Sparkle Interference. So I think that is gonna be absolutely gorgeous over the top of, especially the Emerald Passion, because over a darker color. So here we go, here we go. I am addicted to this one, which is the Kaleidoscope um, Sparkle Interference. And the other one, the new one, is the Diamond Stardust. Oh my gosh, the both of them are amazing. So if you haven't had a try of them before, this month we've got um, a promotion onto the first 25 who order the, the any of the powders, including these ones, um, you get... 15% uh, off so that is good for you isn't it always trying to help you okay now here we go the fun part the pouring part people say where do I start well I generally start with the darkest sort of color so we'll start with this emerald passion first which I've added the sparkle to It is so gorgeous with that uh, sparkling. Absolutely amazing. And that is the Diamond Stardust that I've actually popped in there at the last minute. <laughs> Couldn't resist it. And that is gonna be beautiful when the sunlight hits it, or you know, a light, you'll be able to see it. Okay, so now I'm going to add the Thornton Shimmer which is a magical colour after a magical guy. Who is our Jeff Thornton from Artist Till Death. Amazing, love this colour. You can see I'm staying away from that hole at the moment because it is gonna run down there, but I want to sort of um, get it onto the board first. Right, we've now got the Lorraine Shimmer, whoops, which is light, lighter, sorry, lighter than the Thornton, but it just goes beautifully with it. It's such a gorgeous colour, it really is. Just around the edge here. wherever we can find a little spot. Okay. Then we've got the transparent one, which is sea foam. 
Doesn't matter, we just gotta make sure that we fill up the board. It's probably all gonna be, go down that hole actually when I think about it, but anyway. Doesn't matter, we'll just play with it. And if you've done a bit of, of work with resin before, you know it's got a mind of its own, so it's gonna do its own thing anyway. Okay, so that's the fun bit there. Now we've got, got some of this gorgeous, gorgeous sparkle. Uh, what I like about these little paper cups is you can just push it into a point and then you can just come around and do whatever you want to do. Because that's over, it'll probably sink and just leave little, little bits anyway, which is great. All right, so we've got that over. Then I'm going to put the white on. Again, benefit of the little cups is you can just pour it over. All right, that's fine. All right, I think that's enough. I don't want to have too much on there, but we also want to have a bit of balance. We might just put just a little bit through there. Okay, so now I'm going to hit it with the, um, the, sorry, mental blank, pro propane, the propane torch. I like propane because it doesn't burn like butane. because um, it'll set off the alarm. Okay, so what's what it's gonna do now, it's gonna draw the product down in the middle and it's gonna end up with a really nice middle. I always really enjoy watching, you know, what that does. Um, what will we do? I don't know that we need to do too much more at the moment. I'm just gonna get out there. See how that goes. Um, because I've warmed it up, I think we are going to get a better lacing effect here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we're just going to let it sit now, and I'll come back in around 20 minutes. I've just spotted the little area there. Um, I'll come back in around 20 minutes, and we'll take off this outside tape, this dam effect. And if you don't know why we've put the tape on, is because you can get some lovely things happening on the top. Now, if I didn't have that, it would just be running over the edge. So to get nice edges and to keep this on the top there, we want to have that tape on. So um, it'll just hold it and allow it to set up a little bit and then it will uh, just dribble over the side when it's a little bit firmer. Beautiful. All right then, well, I'll be back uh, shortly and uh, we'll take that tape off. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and here we are back. So I'm just going to take off the tape. It's feeling nice and warm, which it would because I started with warm resin. Just put that in the bin. And then I'm just going to glide around my fingers to make sure that that bottom half of the board is wet with resin because then I know that the top is going to come over beautifully. And then we'll always have a nice edge. Okay. It's looking very pretty. I'm really happy with it. I love the way it always pulls this down into the middle. I think that makes it really quite interesting, especially for a clock. So this will still pull a little bit off and I'm okay with that. I mean, if I didn't want it to move, then I would have just left it, you know, maybe another 10 minutes. Surprising that it looks like it's coming this way a bit, so I might put um, a couple of 
spatula at this end because I did uh, put it through the level to make sure it was level when I began. So it should be okay, but for some reason it's running this way a little bit. So we'll just correct it and we'll just have it so that this also pulls that way a bit. We'll see how that goes. Okay, well, I don't think tomorrow's gonna to be kind for us because um, there's no sunshine, I don't believe, unless we strike it lucky in the morning, but basically, um, it's gonna be rain all week here. So if that's the case, we'll do our reveal inside under the lights, but I do love to do it outside because in the sun, you've got uh, natural color and you've got no reflection. So long as there's not clouds in the sky, uh, because the clouds will reflect on it. But otherwise, yeah, we'll see how this looks tomorrow anyway. So um, before you know it, I'll be back again showing you. Good morning, everybody. Here we are, this is the reveal the morning after our poised day afternoon we've got a little bit of sun sneaking through lots of clouds but you can still see hopefully a bit of glitter before that rain comes so we've got the nice bit of glitter showing through with the emerald passion that i put the diamond stardust into it's really really pretty glistening you can see it there and then I've also got just little sneaky little bits of the Kaleidoscope, which uh, I love. I love those two new products we've got. That's the Diamond Stardust and the Kaleidoscope. Beautiful. Happy with the colours. Love how this always pours down through that middle hole there. Uh, occasionally, I need to drill down there if it's, you know, not quite big enough, but usually it is. But anyway. Here we go, so very happy with that. <coughs> Excuse me, mind that wind, there's other noises going on in the background. But uh, there you go. So what I'll do, I do want to show you to full completion. So I'll see how we go to uh, get that finished today. But if not, it'll be in a part B. So not to worry, I've got it coming. All right, everybody, if you've enjoyed this uh, video today, please give us a thumbs up and thank you for joining me really appreciate that if you've got any questions or comments would love to hear them in the bottom down below i shall put the links into the description for the colors used and it'll be a direct link to the site and um what else yes uh the thumbs up of course is important and if you haven't already would love you to subscribe as i'm building the channel and that would mean so much to me so thank you for your support everybody thus far and i look forward to seeing you on the next video so remember if you don't give it a go you are never never gonna know so get out there everybody and have a fantastic week bye for now